right, Tony here with iDesign Memories. Um, this is attempt number three. Um, hopefully, um, I guess I'll get rid of the other two streams um, if this one works out. Um, I, I lowered the data rate. I lowered it down to, um, and I'll show you that here. Output. I switched it to streaming medium. I did have it on streaming high. Um, what I've noticed is when the... I noticed this the other day. Um, we there's a cache built in, and I'll I'll kind of show you over here. You can see on the screen. Let me see if I can kind of zoom in on that. On air, um, what it's designed to do is when you start getting an over uh, you know too high an amount of data that's going through. Uh, you wind up uh, caching. See, for example, right now it's saying cache at 43%, 44%. So what that's telling me is even though I've got really good uh, internet supposedly here at the house, the upstream, it's just not, uh, not, not working as well as it needs to. And when it got to about 50%, I noticed it started stuttering uh, when I went back and looked at the playback. What happened here is uh, the last two, it got up 85, 90, at one point it said full. Um, and though even though it said I was still on air and still going, um, it wasn't. Um, it, it just stopped. And what I'm hoping is we'll, we'll, we'll get this solved. And uh, anyway, that's, uh, that's, that's my hope. So what this is all about is the media player, uh, looking at media. Um, and we're going to switch over here and I'll show you how we how I do that uh, we're gonna go down here and click on the media tab and I've got a um, SD card plugged in here uh, it's saved everything that I had before but um, let's see you're just gonna drag this over and put it in a slot and then all these slots show up uh, but what we want it to do is, when we go back to the switcher, when we go over here, we can go to Media Player, and we got a little drop-down menu here. So I can pull up, uh, that's the one I want to bring on screen, and now that's going to dissolve on screen. Back over here where it makes a little more sense. Uh, again, I'm Tony Logue with iDesign Memories. We're talking about the media player today. So uh, I can now hit auto again. That's going to dissolve off the screen. And then I can go over here. Instead of having to drag those in, uh, basically what happens is, uh, we'll go back over here. When you hit... the still button... Gonna come up. When you hit that still button, whatever you have stored right here is what's gonna come up. Now that didn't come up um, like I would have liked, so we're gonna go over here and check and see if uh, when we I may have turned it down. And okay, so we got uh, pre-multiplied key. I'm going to bring it back on screen. I'm going to hit the uh, still button again. Yeah, we're still getting that white. So something's not quite set up correctly here because, uh, well, actually that's not true. It's bringing in the entire image. Um, my, my mistake. It's, it's supposed to do that. Let's go back here. So what you would want to have there would be a full frame something that's uh, the full screen so we'll go back to the uh, graphic that I created for the thumbnail we'll go back over here we'll take that off now if I hit this still button because that's what uh, is stored in that number one slot or uh, you know that that's what's queued up um, and then we can come back over here Come back over here, and then what we'll do is look back over here again, and we can see 
that's the graphic that's queued up. So whatever graphic is here, when you hit this still button, that's what's <coughs> going to come up. And then what determines that is when you look at media, whatever you have loaded here. So uh, that's this is what's tied to your still button. So obviously you want to have something that's uh, the full screen. So like if I drag this one over here instead, switch back over, we can see now that's what's queued up. That's telling us what's in the media player. Then if I hit the still button, that's what's going to come on. And then we can switch away from it. But um, the, the, the cool thing here, and something that uh, to keep in mind, you don't have to drag those over into that slot to make it work. Um, so I've just selected this still. We'll bring it on screen. Take it off screen. We got an, another logo. Bring that on. Take that off. And the thing to keep in mind is um, all of your images, even though maybe one is just a lower third, it's still, when you bring that image in, it has to be um, 19. Uh, 20 by 1080. Um, I've, I've found that out the hard way. So even though this lower third is just showing up there in the bottom, um, everything has to be, uh, we'll come up here. So even that lower third is showing up there. Everything has to be 1920 by 1080. If not, that graphic's just going to wind up planning itself in the middle of your screen. It's going to look real pixelated and, and it looks crazy. So uh, anyway, you can use Photoshop. I use Corel Draw. You can use Affinity. Pretty much any program that enables you to create a graphic in a PNG or something with a, a transparency to it. Um, that That's what you have to have for your for your lower thirds or any, you know, any kind of graphic that you want to have come on screen. And then all of the, the rest of the screen uh, is, is transparent. So anyway, um, at this point, um, it appears um, that we're, we're okay to go to, to turn off. Uh, one of the things that, that happened to me was uh, when I was hitting, uh, let's go back over here, zoom this back out. You can see it on my preview screen. One of the things that happened was uh, when I came up here and hit the off button, um, it just wouldn't turn off. Couldn't figure out why. I uh, kept doing it for a period of time, and then finally it shut off. My Just just my assumption, uh, or my guess uh, in troubleshooting, because there was still memory stored in the cache, it was still trying to push that to the, the live stream, even though the stream had actually stopped. Um, but my guess is, is that what was stored in the cache memory in the A10 Mini Pro was still sitting there. So uh, anyway, uh, hopefully that answers your questions. If you've got any other things that I could share with you about how I built the graphics and, and what I did, or if there's something that I didn't answer here, um, this is my third try. So I, I feel like I've got a little bit more concise and tried to not skip over some of the things that, uh, that we had done. Um, but I'm going to let you go out with my uh, intro video here, and uh, we'll catch you on the turnaround. Let me pull up my lower third here again. Again, Tony with iDesign Memories. Thanks for tuning in.